This is part two of modeling a mint probe. And in part one, this was the progress that we had made and it's time to continue with modeling this cool little thing. All right, let's make, uh, let's, let's work on the little holes here, a little speaker grill of some sort. All right, so we'll come down to the bottom here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some edge loops. I think I'm gonna put in nine four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And I'll do the same over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in face selection, in top view, I'm gonna hit C for paint select, and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna get all these guys here, but I'm gonna leave some space on the outside. I guess just one row on the outside like that okay so i got that i'm turning it a bit so i can see okay i'm going to hit i twice for inset i i and then i'm going to just move my mouse till i get the approximate size that i want for those squares and then i'm going to extrude downwards in the z direction but just a small amount e and i'm going to pull down maybe like that I just want slight indentation. Now, that's gonna look a little different than my original uh, one, which is okay. So, yeah, never exactly the same. So, that's what I got right there, and we'll go with that. And then let's create those little clips that are on the side. So, I'm gonna look from the side, and here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna go into edit mode, I'm gonna put down an edge loop, control R, right there. Mm hmm, I knew that. And what if I put another one down there? And that gives me about the right height. I'm gonna put another one right there. What I've done is I've added two new edge loops just on that side, of course, so I can do that on the other side if I wanna be consistent. One, and then just one right in the middle. That's all I did, basically. All right, <clears throat> and the bottom edge is roughly going to give me the bottom of this hole I'm going to make, and the top edge is that. It's not exactly, but this edge loop here is going to give me the top of this piece. So what I need to do is this. In edge selection, I am going to select a piece, that edge, and that edge, and that edge, just down to there. So this is what I've got right there. Shift D. To copy it p to break it out into a new object go into objects mode and origin and geometry so that's what i've got right there now select it in edit mode look at the side view and let's come over to here i'm going to slide it down to one end now i'm going to hit e to extrude and i'm going to pull to this end and i've got that let's go back <clears throat> Okay, now I'm going to select this edge and dissolve it. I don't need it. So this is what I've got. I'm going to set origin and geometry and even cursor to select it. Set everything all up. Okay, you can barely see the thing. Okay. We're going to make a copy of this and I want to rotate it um, down. Let's go into that more. It's easier to see. Okay. Shift D and rotate X 180. Shift D or X 180. Push it down. Back to side view. And try to line it up. Okay. We see it on both. Uh, top and bottom which is great now select this edge and this edge control e bridge edge loops take this edge and this edge x dissolve them now that it's attached and there's our piece okay now let's give it some thickness i'm going to look from the front okay i'm going to hit e and alt s and i'm going to hold shoot no i'm going to move this way all right now up to about there make it even and i'm going to wireframe and you'll notice that this blue part is shorter than this now i don't know if it's because i put edge loops in the exact in the wrong place or not but i'm going to 
put an edge loop there on this and here on this. Now it's not exactly mirrored or anything, but we'll make it shorter. Might as well. Okay. I'm going to select this face. I can probably just do that and delete vertices. And I'll do that same for down here. X vertices. And then we'll rebuild this. That edge. Shift that edge. I have to make a face. Now let me just make sure that I've done the right thing. Okay, this is the right one like. Okay, good. This edge and this edge. F. All right. I'm going to go Control R and roll my mouse up. So I have two edge loops, scale in the Y, close to the ends. I may even put it there. Control R to get horizontal. Two, scale in the Z. We're forming the shape of the buttons, essentially. And one, two, right there. Okay, so we've added a few more edge loops. Let's look in solid. Okay, I added this one and this one. I added these ones on the side and I added two more. Now I'm going to select these faces, shift and click. I'll go back in the side view and I'm going to hit I, I. I'm going to pull in a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to hit, uh, let's go look from the side. E to extrude, and I'm going to pull out to about there. Great. Hey, we have our buttons. We have some interesting parts on them. Okay, we can reduce the bevel if we want a little bit. Very nice. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking I will do is try to mirror this to the other side. I'm going to select the bottom because I feel it's a little bit more symmetrical. It hasn't had this work done on it. And we're going to try set, or, uh, set origin and geometry, shift S, cursor to select it. You know, it worked that well from the bottom. Let's take this and click mirror. And with the eyedropper, select that. And uh, we actually got a good mirror. So I got the buttons on both sides. Fantastic. All right. Now, we want to make this piece here, which is a very similar to this one. I'm going to take a piece of this and I'm going to slide it down. Let's go into this, find an edge, an edge selection like this, shift, alt, and click. That's just right there. Shift D, drag it out, P, make it its own object, select it, origin and geometry. So let's slide it down. Now it's mirrored on the other side, so let's get rid of the mirror. And let's hit three. Look at this. And it's a bit longer, you know, higher and, and lower than this, so we'll deal with that in a bit. Let's go into edit mode and hit E to extrude, pull it out the width that we want. Okay. Now, let's flip the polys because they were looking dark. It's got no thickness to it yet. Let's see what we can do with this guy. It seems to come down to just here. So let's take this edge loop, pull it up to there, and then take this and this X vertices. So we've got that. Let's add another edge loop here and drag it up to there. Select that edge, X vertices. Nope. Uh, let's do it this way. Did I add that edge loop? Select those vertices. Okay. So we have this. We can, for now, let's get rid of this. Dissolve edges. 
select it look from three yeah I just want to like that eh? okay look from one okay so this is an outer ah damn it mm -hmm. wireframe that's okay E and alt s and let's pull in no we're gonna have to push out oh we got an issue what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What's wrong? Do we have an extra vertex in there or something? Oh, we got rid of two vertices there. Ah. Well, that may have happened when we... Okay. You know what I want to do, actually, is hide this. That's what's bothering me. Okay. I'm going to try pulling this in. Be down and just getting its position. Yeah, that changed it a bit, but we're going to come out so. Okay, that's fine. Let's go into edit mode and E and Alt S and, and uh, pull your mouse to get a similar thickness as, as the other one. And then we'll look at that. There you go. See, and it's popped out to the right size so. Um, I may just, just, you know, have to do a little bit of touch up like that. That's, that's all well and good. Okay. So now we're going to select this face and go into edit mode and we're going to make a little square. So I'm going to select that face there and I'm going to hit I inset, pull it in and you know, that's, that's close enough. It doesn't have to match the diagram exactly. Okay. I'm going to hit, uh, this front. One, I'm going to hit E and it come out. I'm not exactly sure how much because it seems to be on the other side. Um, let's try this. No, that didn't help either. Yeah, whatever. I guess back diagrams are weird. Okay, so we got that. Let's double check something. That seems a little bit wide, so I'm going to go Control Plus. And then I'm going to scale this, but not in the X. That's Shift X. Make it a bit smaller, like that. I'm going to take this piece, and we're going to make a circle out of this. But first, I'm going to inset. No, oh, that didn't work. Select it. I inset. Come in, and then I'm going to go put an edge loop there and there, so that I have a square, just like that. I'm going to hold W, Loop Tools, Circle, and I'll make it smaller, S. And then I'm going to E and extrude out, just like that. And I'm going to get that effect. Okay. Just like this. And some of it's, uh, you know, just doing it by eye. So let's go ahead and put that little loop there, and then we'll call it quits for now. Let's um, select Shift Alt to click all of those. Shift S, cursor selected. Now bring the 3D cursor right around there. Shift A, mesh, circle. Let's go with 22 vertices. And let's go in edit mode and uh, S to scale. Let's RY90 and bring it down. And then you just uh, scale it. You just decide how big you want this thing to be. I'm going to go with that size, roughly. All right. And I'm going to go E and S. Drag it in a bit to give some thickness. Select all of it. E and come out in the X direction. Like, maybe like that. And then I'm going to select all the edges. Shift Alt and click that edge and that edge. That one and that one. And we'll bevel. Control B. Pull back. Give maybe one, two segments, and deselect. Let's move it back in. And give it a subdivision surface. And one is probably even enough for this model. Hopefully that's not too big. That's fine. Yeah. Maybe a bit smaller. Okay. That kind of thing. Yeah, so that's what we got so far. Let's 
coming along for sure. Alt H, let's bring that other stuff back. There we go. Maybe we'll just finish up with a couple of bolts on this. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's just select, say, um, this face. Shift S, cursor is selected. And we'll bring in another circle. Mesh circle with 22. And we'll scale it down. Let's see if we can look from three. It's going to be hard to see these. Okay, I'm gonna hit F to make a face, and that's just an end gone. E to extrude, and bring it up, flip the polys, select that edge, and control B, and I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna go one, two, roll my mouse up twice, and I'm gonna delete this bottom face. Okay, and this is what we'll have. And uh, let's set the origin of geometry. Oh, origin of geometry. Okay, whatever. And we're gonna rotate this in the Y. Sort of match the, the blue in the background, scale it. We're gonna smooth. Have a look at that. So it looks to me like it's, there's a bolt right about there. And here. Right. I will select this, shift S, cursor to selected. Well actually I should set origin and geometry first and then that. And then we're gonna take this and we'll mirror actually let's join them. And then we will mirror across this thing. apply and we'll do the same for that so let's select that we'll mirror them across this to go on the other side and that's what we have so far right it's coming along